and welcome to this Christmas gift practice for you all. In this practice, we'll be working to mobilize the thoracic spine, an area that often gets a bit locked up when we feel stressed or anxious or just when we've got a lot of things going on. And I also think of this heart space as this place, you know, where we want to cultivate that sense of love and compassion and kindness for ourselves, but also to everyone at this time of year, especially those that need it. So begin by lying down on your back. Take your feet as wide as your mat. And take your arms just above shoulder height into kind of a T-shape, just a little higher. Just take a moment to observe your body on the, on the ground. Notice the parts of your body that rest heavier. And the parts of your body that rest a little lighter. Notice any asymmetries between the right side of your body and the left side of your body. And then take your right arm, reach it straight up above your chest. Reach up a little bit more so the shoulder and the rib cage comes away from the floor. And then look over to your left hand and reach towards your left hand. And just let the parts of the body that want to come along for the ride come. So that might be the hip, it might be the foot, or it might be nothing. And so just kind of noticing what comes along, what gets stuck, and how far you go and how easy it was. And then roll back onto your back. Notice any changes between the sides of the body. Then pick up the left arm, reach it straight up above your chest, reach up a little more so you feel the shoulder, the rib cage come away. Look over to your right hand and then reach across. And again, notice what comes to, notice what gets stuck. Notice how it's feeling, any different to the first side. And then roll back and back onto your back. And just remember how that felt. Roll off to one side and come up to a seat. And this is where you may want a blanket underneath the pelvis just to lift the hips up a little. I'm gonna do a little sequence with a twist and a side bend. So whichever leg in front feels most comfortable. Rotate around to the right. Take the back hand, reach it up and over so you get a side bend towards your front knee. And then that top arm is going to stay on top as you eagleize the arms or give yourself a hug. Take the elbows towards the sky and then bring the hands back down. Twist to the left. The back arm is going to reach up and over towards that front knee. Then that top arm stays on top as you eagleize the arms or give yourself a cuddle. Reach the arms up and elbows back down. Inhale as you twist. Exhale as the arm reaches up and over, getting that delicious side bend. Eagleize the arms, reach the elbows up, inhale. Exhale, elbows come down. Inhale as you twist. Exhale to reach up and over. Eagleize the arms, reach to the sky. Exhale, arms down. Good, keep going with this. If your rhythm is a little bit different to mine, that's okay. If you want to add in some own movements, that's totally fine as well. Make this your own. Really start to notice where that thoracic spine needs a little bit more of your breath, maybe a little bit more movement. Maybe you want to hold a shape a little longer. And don't be in a rush to get to the next thing. Really notice what does my body need in this moment? How does the stretch feel? Do I want to stay a little longer? Do I want to move on straight away? That ability to really bring ourselves into the moment stops us from being in that place of the monkey mind, the rumination, the worry, and helps us to connect to present moment awareness, present moment, moment sensation, which helps us to find a little bit more fluidity and ease in the body. Good, we'll do one more each side. And once you've finished, you know, make your way into a tabletop position. And you might like that blanket underneath the knees again, so feel free to take that. And then come into a few rounds of cat and cow. And in your cat and cow, you might start by articulating from the tailbone all the way up so that the chin is the last thing to tuck under. 
and then articulating from the tailbone as you melt the belly down into your cow, lifting the chest, lifting the chin last. And so that's where you may start with this really quite sagittal, familiar movement. Then you might start to invite some circularity to this motion, maybe a little bit of sitting forwards and back, maybe a little side to side with the pelvis. So just again, tune in to what does your body need? I'm kind of liking the circles right now, so maybe you wanna join me with a more circular action through the spine. And then reverse directions, go back the other way. Really tuning in to that thoracic area of the spine, so from the rib cage up. Come back to a neutral position. Lower, so keep the hands where they are, but lower your right forearm to the floor, then your left, then your right elbow lifts, and then your left. So you've got this little rotational movement, nice and gentle as we lower the right forearm, then the left, then the right elbow lifts, and then the left. One more time this way. And then we'll go back the other way. Left elbow first, then the right. Left elbow, then the right. Just letting the spine rotate alongside it. And you might even notice that the pelvis moves as well. A little side to side shuffle. When you come back to both elbows lifted, tuck your toes, press it back, downward facing dog. Ripple your way forward to plank position. Turn the heels to the right, toes to the left. Press with both hands and bend your knees for a twisted down dog. Feel the stretch through the left side body. Roll the heels back, downward facing dog. Ripple your way forward, plank position. Turn the heels to the left, toes to the right. Bend your knees as you push with both hands. Now feel the stretch to the right side of the body. And then rotate it back, rotate it back downward facing dog. Slow tiptoe forward to the top of the mat. Really noticing the texture of the mat underneath your feet. Noticing when you need to soften the knees a little bit more. Once you arrive at the top of the mat, Slowly pull the weight down through your heels as you roll on up to stand. Your chin will be the last thing to arrive. And then take the hands and interlace them behind the head. Take a little side bend over to the right. Rotate your chest over your right leg. Rotate around through the center. Rotate over the left foot. Open your right elbow to the sky and then lift your chest towards the sky, keeping your knees soft. Side bend over to the right. Rotate the left shoulder and elbow down. Rotate through the center over your left leg. Open the right elbow so you're side bending and then lift the chest to the sky. Going back the opposite way, so left first. Rotate the shoulder down, look at your foot. Rotate through center, try and move just from the upper chest. Rotate over the right leg and then side bend and lift your sternum towards the sky, the front of the chest. Side bend to the left. Right elbow and shoulder rolls down. Circle it through the center, over the right foot. Open out into your lateral stretch. And then lift your sternum to the sky. Then release your hands, come back to Tadasana. Rotate over your right leg, tuck your chin and roll down. And just noticing where it feels tight, making your arms really heavy as if they're holding heavy weights. And it's just pulling the spine down towards the ground. Then rotate to the center and roll on up. Once you're all the way up, rotate over the left foot, tuck your chin and roll down. And the arm's heavy. Make sure that right arm is also really heavy. You're not holding any tension there. 
Maybe give the head a little wriggle out. Notice where you feel the stretch sensation on this side. Come back through the center and roll on up. And once you're all the way up, reach the arms to the sky, inhale. Exhale, fold over your legs. Right hand's gonna come down onto the floor or to your block. Left arm is gonna float to the sky into Uttanasana twist. So right knee is really bent, left leg straight and push into the block with your right hand. And then step your right foot back, lower the knee down and come up interlace the fingers around your head again. Side bend over to the right, rotate the chest down, rotate over your left leg, open into your side bend, and lift the chest to the sky. One more of those, side bend, rotate down, rotate over the leg, side bend, lift the chest to the sky. Then reach your right arm back for your right foot, left arm to the sky. So you've got back bend and rotation towards the right leg. Windmill your hands, bring the right hand to the inside of the foot. Maybe even you soften the elbow towards the floor. We'll do that again. Windmill the arms back, right hand goes to the back foot, left arm goes to the sky. And exhale to windmill the hand to the inside of the foot, soften the elbow towards the floor. One more of those, windmill it back. Spinning fluidity and freedom through the spine. Windmill the hand, place it to the inside of the foot. And then sweep the left leg back into a modified half moon. You're welcome to put the foot down if you need more support. And take the hand behind your head. As you exhale, try and tap your elbow to your right elbow. And then open back out into your twist. Two more times, just move with your breath rhythm. Try and press the earth away as you rotate down. Open up. Last one. Open it out. Plant the foot to the floor. Reach by your ear by, with that left hand and push into your right hand, your left foot so much, maybe this right knee can scoop away from the floor. Walk with Vashistasana. See if you're gonna lift that bottom hip a little higher. Then step the right foot in behind, bring both hands to the floor, bend your knees, twisted down dog. Straighten the legs, come to plank position, top of a push-up. Pull the mat back and lower to your belly. Slide the fingertips out and off your mat, elbows point to the sky. Inhale as you rise on up. Roll the right shoulder in, striking cobra. Inhale back through center, roll your left shoulder. Inhale through center and release everything to the floor. Press your way back to downward facing dog. Float your left leg to the sky, inhale. Exhale, step it between your hands. Rise on up. Right hand, is it going to go back again for that back leg? Find it somewhere. Windmill the right hand down to the inside of the foot. Easy twist. Again, windmill it back. Find the back leg. Windmill the hand to the floor. Easy twist. Windmill back. Easy twist. Step forward, Uttanasana twist, right knee still bent. Then use that left arm to draw you all the way up to stand. Reach the arms out and up, inhale. Left hand comes down, left knee bends into your Uttanasana twist on the other side. Right arm to the sky, push into the block or to the floor with your left hand. Then step the left foot back, lower the knee down. Rise on up and interlace the fingers behind the head. Side bend over to the left. Rotate the torso down, rotate it over the thigh. 
come into your side bend, then lift the chest to the sky. Side bend to the left, rotate the torso down, come over the leg, rotate open, lift the chest to the sky. Then take that left hand, reach it back for your left foot, right arm reaches to the sky. Windmill your hand to the inside of the right foot, maybe the elbow softens to the floor. Windmill all the way back, catch the back heel, reach to the sky. And windmill all the way forward, low lunge twist. One more time. Again, finding sense of freedom and fluidity through the upper body. This time plant the hand and sweep your right leg back into your modified half moon position. Take the hand behind the head and try and lift the right leg a little more if it's lifted. Rotate down, try and tap the elbow. Open back up. I like to inhale as I rotate down. Maybe yours is an exhale, just notice. Open back up to the sky. One more time. Open back up. Oops, lost my balance. <laughs> Plant the foot, press into the foot, reach the arm by the ear, and then see if you can maybe pick up that left knee. Step the foot in behind, plant both hands to the floor, bend your knees, push with your hands, twisted down dog. Then come to plank position, lower to your belly. Striking cobra, fingertips out and off the mat, inhale as you lift up. Exhale, rotate right shoulder in. Come back through the center, exhale left shoulder in. Come back through center, release everything to the floor. Plant your hands and press back to downward facing dog. Right leg floats to the sky. Draw the knee in and step it between your hands. Rise up for crescent warrior, back heel is high. Left hand goes back to find the leg. Windmill your left hand to the inside of the right foot. Windmill it back to the back leg. And windmill down. Notice all of that stability you're cultivating through the base. One more time. Windmill it up. Find your balance. Reach back and up. And windmill down. And from here, simply step the foot in, Uttanasana twist, right arm is going to pull you up to stand, and release the hand down. Take a breath in, reach the arms to the sky. Right arm reaches down, right knee bends, Uttanasana twist, left arm stays high. Step your right foot back. Windmill the arms, come up into that crescent twist back bend, left arm reaches back and up. Windmill the right hand back down to the floor. One more of those, windmill up. And windmill down. Plant the hand to the floor, spin to the outside of the right foot. Left foot comes halfway down the mat. Now bend both knees, sit your butt to the floor and spiral over the left leg into a twist. Don't really worry too much about where the legs end up. The most important thing is we're finding that little bit of rotation through the torso. So any sort of leg configuration, it might look like Gomukhasana, it might look like your seated twist, it might be kind of a hybrid. Good. and then rotate back around, plant your hands to the floor, sweep your left leg, three-legged down dog. Draw the knee in, step it between your hands. Drop the back knee and windmill your right hand to your back foot, into that twisted back bend, low lunge. Then windmill your right hand onto the block, lift your back leg up and come into revolved half moon. 
Let's do one more of those. Drop the toe, the knee, windmill it back, revolved low lunge. And then windmill, hand to the block, lift up, revolved half moon. Bring that leg in, big bend in that right knee. So we're back in our Uttanasana twist. And then left hand's going to draw you up. Tadasana. Final side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, left arm drops down, left knee bends. Right arm stays high. Step the left foot back. Windmill the arms up into your twisted reverse warrior. Windmill the hands. Left hand to the floor, right arm to the sky. One more of those. Windmill back, left hand goes to the back leg. Remember the back heel stays high, right arm to the sky. Windmill back, left hand comes down. Spin to the outside of the left foot. Right foot comes halfway down the mat. You bend and sit all the way to the floor and then rotate over the leg. Find your twist. Breathe into any areas that feel a little tight. And focus on breathing into the back of the rib space as well. Filling all sides of the torso. And rotate back around. Plant your hands. Sweep your right leg to three-legged down dog. Draw the knee in and step it between your hands. Drop your back knee to the floor and windmill open, left hand goes to the back heel. Windmill your left hand onto the block as you pop the left leg up into revolved half moon. Toes to the floor, knee to the floor as you windmill back. And then windmill forward. You don't have to lift this leg if you don't like. You could just stay in that low lunge variation. Then step your left foot to meet your right. Slowly come on up. Tadasana. And step your feet a little wider. And just take a really gentle sway or twist from side to side. Just kind of loosen up through the upper body, the pelvis. Let your arms just swing naturally. They might hit the front and the back of the torso. And let their heel lift away from the floor so the pelvis also rolls in. Nice easeful action. Go to the last couple. And then come back to the center. Take your feet as wide as your mat. Bend your knees and slowly sit your hips all the way down to the floor. Once your hips touch the floor, bring your feet out in front of you about hmm, hip distance, maybe a little wider. And take your left hand behind you, point the fingertips back or towards the right corner of your mat. And then sweep this right arm around as you raise your hips to the sky. Try and circle it over your head, find a little flip dog variation. Press firmly through both feet. Good, and then circle the arm back. Take the right hand, place it behind you. This time the left arm is going to circle over the head as you raise your hips up and reach back. And slowly sit your hips back to the floor. Reach your legs out in front of you, grab hold of your block and reach it forward. Now think of shunting one side of the block forward and then the other as you slowly roll down the spine. So the block stays over your legs. You're just creating this little Push of the block side to side to help get the thoracic spine to slowly imprint onto the floor. 
Once you get all the way down, take the arms back out into that T-shape, take the feet back to the side edges of your mat. Notice the body and how it contacts the floor. Notice if it's any different to before. Then pick up the right arm, reach it above your chest, reach up to the ceiling a little more. And then look over at your left arm and reach across and notice if the roll is any different. Maybe you get a little bit further now. Maybe more of the body comes along for the ride, like the hip and the foot. And then roll back onto your back. Again, check in with the sides of the body. And then pick up the left arm, reach it above your chest, reach up a little more. And then look over at the right arm and reach across by the rotation. Notice if that feels any different. Do you get a little further? And then rotate back onto your back. Roll off to one side and come up and grab your blanket. I'm going to come into just a T-spine um, Shavasana position. So a little bit of a roll in your blanket. You don't want it too much though. So if it feels like it's giving you too much opening, just um, lessen the roll. So mine's about that much, but this blanket tends to get quite squishy once I lie down. So ideally the blanket's going to come just below your shoulder blades so that your arms and your shoulders are going to be above it on the floor like so. Now you can either knock your knees together, feet as wide as your mat, or the legs can go long depending on how it's feeling through your body. The block is there if you also need a little bit more support through the head, you can place the head on the block. So taking whichever variation feels right for you, enables you to really enjoy this little thoracic opener. Ideally, not too much. And settle in, focus in on your breath. And maybe cultivate or bring to mind the things that you are grateful for in your life right now. It could be people, it could be places, it could be things that have happened. It could be even just the little things, like the sun is shining today. As you bring to mind those things that you are grateful for, just really notice what gratefulness or gratitude feels like in your body and where that resides. And can you allow that feeling of gratitude to expand? that every time you breathe in, it's like you're expanding a balloon, a bubble of gratitude. You breathe into the roll on your back as well as towards the sky. And can you allow that sense of gratitude to infuse and seep into every cell of your being.
very carefully roll over to one side and just move the sausage out of the way. And you can either stay on your side or return to your back. Maybe just notice what it feels like to have that roll now gone. And then carefully roll over to whichever side feels most comfortable. And make that transition to your comfortable seat. Just bringing both hands on top of the heart space again, bringing to mind those things that you are grateful for. And sending out love and compassion and kindness to yourself, but also to all beings everywhere at this time. Loka samasta suki no bhavantu. Thank you all for practicing with me. Hari Om Tat Sat.